In this video, we'll cover the basics of QPDF. QPDF is a great tool to use on the tablets. With it, you can write, draw, or highlight on a PDF. You can take notes on a PDF that's sent to the tablet. You can then save the file and or email it. In the Tools bucket, you'll find QPDF. When you tap on it, it takes you to this blank sheet of paper. Opening a PDF on the tablet will depend upon how the PDF is delivered, whether it's via Curriculum Loft, Google Docs, email, or some other way. In this case, the file was emailed, so I'm going to click on Open, which is this folder at the top right side of the screen. I'm going to choose my file, and now it's open. Let's talk about some of the tools here on the left side of the screen. Note that if these disappear, simply tap the screen with one finger and these tools will reappear here at the left. Let's first take a look at the square drawing tool. Once I tap it, I can draw a box around an item. Similarly, using the circle drawing tool, I can draw a circle around an item. This tool will draw a straight line and this is a comment tool. After I have typed in my comment, it turns to this yellow piece of paper. Once I tap on the paper, I can see the comment appear down here. This is a great way to provide some feedback. This tool that looks like a piece of paper allows me to type something but places the text in a box. This tool with a T is similar the difference being the text isn't surrounded by a box. Finally, this is the highlight tool, which allows you to highlight words or an object. Note that any of these objects can be deleted or even the color can be changed. If I want to delete an object, I tap on it and then I select the trash can up here. If I want to change colors of something, I tap on the object and then I select this tool up here in the upper right hand corner and once it's selected this palette pops up and allows me to select whatever color I want and in this case I've selected purple for my circle. Zooming in makes it easy to work on the PDF. I've zoomed in and I'm going to use this tool for writing. Once I've selected it I'm just using my fingers to write to solve this problem. You can see that I'm able to go through this problem and I'm able to show all of my work and the steps involved in solving this equation. When I'm done, I circle my answer and I also circle the correct answer on the problem above. Now that I'm finished, I have a few options for turning it in. I can save it which will save it directly to the device by tapping here. I can also email it by tapping here, which gives me these choices. If I choose Gmail, I can email it directly to someone. If I choose Google Drive, I can save it to my Google Drive, or I could even save it in a folder in Google Drive that's been shared with me. And that's a wrap for our quick overview of QPDF.